Top 20 Environmental Specialist Interview Questions and Answers. Nailing an interview requires thorough preparation. An interview is more about getting an insight into the applicant's educational background, work experience, and motivation and less about demonstrative testing. The questions asked in an interview determine your potential for the job. Therefore, the interviewers usually include questions about job duties and requirements. In this interview, you may not have to run lab analyses on samples. But, the interviewer may ask you questions about how you would react to certain occupational circumstances and challenges. Hence, to give your best for such an interview, you must rehearse your answers for all probable questions and situations. To aid your preparation, here's a list of the top 20 environmental specialist questions and answers. 1. Why are you interested in this role? The reason for applying for a job may merely be a good salary package or because your friend works there. But, such honest yet irrelevant answers don't get appreciated at job interviews. Questioning the reason for your interest in this role, the interviewer intends to know how passionate and motivated you are. By assessing the aspects of personality essential for a competent environmental specialist, the interviewer evaluates your aptness and enthusiasm for the job duties. Answers that represent your passion, creativity, and skills increase your potential for a successful interview. Sample answer. As someone who's always concerned about the environment, I feel obliged to play my part in making our environment better for the current and future generations. Gaining this position, I will be able to satisfy my moral and assigned duties for environmental improvement. It'll also help me enhance my skill set as an environmental specialist. 2. What are the roles of an environmental specialist? With this question, the interviewer intends to check your knowledge about the job. Environmental specialists play a crucial part in our society as they work to purify and improve the environment. They assess the impact of population on the environment, mark environmental problems and present solutions for those problems. Sample answer. Having experience in the industry working as an environmental specialist, I know about all the duties associated with this position. I am aware that this role makes you responsible for conducting inspections, testing samples, identifying and assessing environmental problems, and providing potential remedies. It also includes preparing legal reports for the environmental law regulations. 3. What are the qualities that an environmental specialist needs to be successful? Organizations look for creativity when hiring new employees. They always appreciate people who can make reforms and bring new ideas to enhance the environment and help their organization grow. Sample answer. I think a successful environmental specialist needs to be diligent so that he can efficiently spot the problem. His problem-solving approach must be versatile so that positive outcomes get increased through creative reforms. Moreover, he needs to be a procrastinator so that the application of solutions never gets delayed. 4. What major challenges did you face during your last role? How did you manage them? This question explores whether you were responsible for the challenges you faced at your previous organization or the organization itself was responsible. It also assesses your coping strategies by asking how you tackled those challenges. Moreover, this question unveils how you represent the organization where you have once worked. Sample answer. While working as a volunteer environmentalist at a remote location, we faced the challenge of soil and water contamination by industrial wastes. We tried to get legal help for this problem but, there was no regulated law enforcement authority in that region. To fix this issue, we presented a plan to build proper disposal channels for industrial wastes to the industrialists of that area, had them agreed on the proposal, and helped them with its execution. 5. Describe your daily routine as an environmental specialist. Instead of answering this question with your easygoing daily routine, try to highlight all your productive activities. Make sure you mention activities involving skills and traits required for the job. Doing this will set you apart and highlight you as a potential candidate for the environmental specialist position. Sample answer. I water plants and clean my garden in the morning. After that, I go to the park for yoga on my bicycle. During my ride to the park and while I am at the park, I try to observe my surroundings to identify points where I can play my part to make them better. I mostly use public transport service or bicycle to travel, so that minimum amount of fuel gets used. I avoid food with disposable packaging and products that are not cruelty-free. I believe that even small efforts can bring great changes. 6. Describe briefly about your experience. 
Since you have already mentioned your experience on your resume, the answer to this question should be brief and precise. This question intends to make you comfortable and grant you a chance to communicate your experience in a short yet presentable manner. Sample answer. Knowing that your efforts can bring changes to the whole environment is a pleasure on its own. For me, experiencing life as an environmentalist is satisfying for both my moral needs and work requirements. I get to practice my solution-focused coping strategies, aided by my personality traits, to take the lead. This experience has been beneficial for both my personal and professional growth. 7. What kind of strategies and mindset is required for this role? This question seeks to determine your personality type and the innate traits of your personality. Through this question, the interviewer finds whether you have the inborn personality traits and abilities essential for the job. Sample answer. I think that an empathetic person who is sensitive, responsible, and proactive would make a good environmental specialist. A person with such qualities would bring positive reforms in the environment while considering it his moral duty. As an environmental specialist, I always put environmental goals first, always choose them over my personal goals, and I believe that I possess all the qualities required in an environmental specialist. 8. What is the biggest challenge that you foresee in this job? This question determines how you would react to stressful work situations and challenges. The key to answering this question is to stay hopeful about overcoming future challenges instead of depicting that you're stressed about them. Sample answer. In my opinion, working in remote areas can be challenging due to cultural and developmental differences. But there's better to it than there's bad. Because when you get to overcome challenges while working in such an area, your little efforts make huge differences for the people living there. Moreover, you get to educate them about the environment and its changes and get a chance to build a whole new team of people who care for their environment. 9. How do you stay motivated in your work? This question intends your ability to self-motivate. Mention the motivations that are relevant to your field and support your statements with examples. Examples tend to make your answer engaging and interesting. An accurate reply that is not dull would get you through this question. Sample answer. As a person who always looks at the bigger picture, I focus more on the positive outcomes than the exhausting challenges. Tracking my efforts and realizing how big a change I have made keeps me motivated at work. While facing challenges that lower my motivation, I calculate all the differences that I would make for our environment if I successfully tackled those challenges. These strategies help me regain my motivation and work more enthusiastically. 10. Describe a time when you failed in this role and the lesson you learned. Achievement and failures are a part of everyone's life. This question intends to explore how you react to your failures, how you learn from them, and how you use your learnings to deal with future failures. A person cannot be successful if he cannot cope with failures and learn from them. An answer that represents how well you take up failures and how you use them to make yourself stronger, motivated, and energetic would be sufficient to make a good impression. Sample answer. I think that my failures have been one of the best sources of learning. Therefore, I consider my failures as motivation boosters. Once my project proposal to make and install recycling bins from plastic wastes got rejected as it required more funding than the original cost of the recycling bins. From this experience, I learned that an efficient project converts minimum expenditure into maximum outcomes. I always keep this in mind while working on new projects. Moreover, I never belittle my efforts when I face failures and, this helps me cope and move forward with my work in a more efficient manner. 11. Why do you feel you are the most suited for this role? The interviewer asks this question to let you explain your understanding of the job and, this question also gives you a chance to present your abilities that would be suitable for the job. The best way to answer is to mention only the facts you are aware of about this job's requirements. Here you also get a chance to ask the employer about what more there is in the duties of this position, which helps you decide whether this job is for you or not. It would also be beneficial to mention the qualities and traits that have previously aided your success in the field. Sample answer. Through my experience in the field, I am well aware of the duties of an environmental specialist. I have worked in different field settings and have enhanced my skill set in multiple dimensions. In addition to this, my abilities to work in stressful work environments, effectively cope with challenges, and diligently derive solutions make me suitable for this job.
12. Share with us your greatest achievement. This question helps the interviewer understand your perception of achievements. The interviewer also intends to learn about your past accomplishments through this question, as this would help the employer decide whether they should hire you or not. It'll also give an idea to the employer of how you would add to their success if you get hired. Sample answer. Working as an environmentalist, I have given preference to the shared goals of the organization and environmental requirements over personal gains in all situations. This sincerity with work has well pleased me as an environmentalist and as a moral being. Among all other achievements in my career, I put my integrity with work on top of the list and count it as my most worthy achievement. 13. What did you dislike about your previous job? This question intends to bring out your perception of your old job and assess how you represent an organization that has been a part of your career. Do not pinpoint any negative aspects while answering this question and instead tailor your answer into a humble and neutral manner. Sample answer. My previous job offered a great working environment and sufficient space for personal growth. I did not dislike anything about it as the employer always made efforts to fix ambiguities and differences. 14. When have you been most satisfied as an environmental specialist in your career? The mentioned question determines your passion and your potential for seeking satisfaction through accomplishments. It also determines whether you get satisfied by practicing your skills or by gaining material rewards. Sample answer. As a passionate environmentalist, I seek pleasure in making efforts and bringing positive changes to my environment. I cannot pinpoint a single occasion as I feel consistently satisfied with my job. However, I feel most satisfied whenever I work as a volunteer in the field, as it does not involve any material motivation but only inner satisfaction. I feel utterly pleased with this job as it allows me to be a part of great causes and satisfy my moral needs. 15. How do you balance your professional and personal life? The interviewer tends to learn through this question about how you manage your work and personal lives. He is aware that the duties of an environmental specialist can strongly impact their personal life. Therefore, he asks this question to assure that you can take the pressure for this job. Sample answer. I pre-plan my schedule to avoid any time management issues, and I also set reminders and alarms to be punctual. I give undivided attention to work during my working hours and avoid unnecessary phone calls and activities. Through this approach, I complete my work within the given time and rarely need to take work home. This mode of work helps me maintain a healthy balance between my personal and professional life. 16. How do you judge your achievement as an environmental specialist? Through this question, the interviewer tries to determine the standards of your ambitions. He also tries to predetermine the quality of your work by analyzing your requirements for success. A satisfactory answer to this question would depict motivation, passion, and a desire for success. Sample answer. I always set my goals high yet, never degrade my efforts even when they end up into failures. My approach for the evaluation of success involves the assessment of endeavors and the calculation of beneficial outcomes. Moreover, as an environmental specialist, I relate my work success with the betterment of the environment. 17. How do you adapt to changing work situations? This question determines how adaptive and flexible you are. It also gives an idea of how you would react to stressful work situations and challenging field environments. Sample answer. One of my biggest strengths is to maintain my work quality in all situations and environments. I tend to adapt to stressful situations by using solution-focused coping. Moreover, my motivation to make this world a better place drives me to work efficiently, even in challenging work settings. 18. Why did you leave your previous job? This question intends to assess the problems that occurred at your previous job. It also checks if one of those problems became the reason for you to leave that job. Through this information, the interviewer evaluates any problems that you may cause as an employee. A practical yet neutral reply would be the perfect answer to this question. Sample answer. My previous job was at an NGO and I learned a lot while working there. I further wanted to gain experience in policy making while working as an environmental specialist. Therefore, I left my job to gain experience in diverse dimensions of my field. 19. What techniques of promoting awareness have you found to be most helpful in your experience? Sample answer. 
With a rise in technology, I found social media is the most powerful medium for raising awareness. I have initiated several campaigns to raise awareness about pollution and contamination through Twitter and Facebook. However, in remote areas where there's a lack of technology, setting up seminars for awareness is more beneficial. 20. Explain the most efficient way to conduct a field examination. This question straight up tests your knowledge about the field. To make a good impression, try to give a precise and practical answer. Sample answer. In inspections, we check the levels of compliance or non-compliance. The exact method used may vary according to the inspection settings. However, to conduct an investigation effectively, a criterion for the mandatory level of compliance must be given.